Look out of the window with all my heart. But I'll find love of the same sort and fall apart. Maybe we can be something new. Are you ready for us? Cause I'm ready for you. Welcome back to another video on my channel. This one is going to be another buy or buy series. So um, that is a series in which I review online clothing stores and um, well I've only done one before but my goal is to review the cheaper online clothing stores um, and give you guys sort of my take on whether you should shop there or pass on that shop. So this one is going to be about Zaful. I don't know if any of you have heard of that, but I am fairly certain that most of you will have heard of it because they are pretty well represented here on YouTube. A lot of YouTubers have made videos featuring their stuff and they also have sponsored posts on Instagram and Facebook. So I have been seeing them all over the place and especially during my master thesis because that is on sponsored videos I saw a couple of Zaful videos and also a few youtubers I watch have made some in the last couple of months so um, they reached out to me they have been reaching out to me for a couple of months asking if I would like to make a video featuring their products so I sort of um, steered away from doing videos where companies send me stuff because I don't want to feel that I then have to positively review their stuff just because they sent it to me. But I made it very clear in an email that I was going to do an honest review of their stuff. So yeah, they sent me a couple of things and I am going to talk to you guys about the quality and the price of those things that I got sent. Now this video is going to feature mainly beachwear, actually only beachwear, so swimsuits, bikinis and cover-ups. So let's just get right into the stuff that I got. So the first things that I want to talk about are a couple of rompers and I got three of those. Um, the first one being this mustard yellow colored one. Um, I really like the detailing on this. I immediately loved the color when I saw it online. I love that it's got these little pom-poms and that it's high-necked. Um, basically, I really like this item. Um, it is 100% polyester and it retails for $16.50, which I feel like is quite reasonable um, for the quality of this specific piece. So I do like this piece. Okay, next thing I got is a white romper and it is this one and this one is feels like the same material but it is actually a blend of linen and polyester. Now I try to sort of look for blends of materials because I am not about that 100% polyester life if you know what I mean. So yeah, but I did get two 100% polyester items 
But this one is a blend of linen and polyester, but it feels and looks the same as the other one, except this one is lined completely. And I think they did that because it's white and otherwise it would be a little bit see-through. It still was a bit see-through on me, but uh, because it's a beach cover-up, I suppose I can live with that. This is another item that I quite liked and I got most of my items in a size medium just because, well usually I'm a size small, but because I saw a lot of reviews and videos online beforehand and a lot of people said that their sizes run a bit small, I went a size up on most of my items. So yeah, this is another item that I quite like. Um, this one was $13.50, so a little bit cheaper and I think that that um, is a fairish price for this specific item. The last romper I got was this one. It is a tie-dye blue um, little romper and it again has these details at the bottom. This time they are pom-poms. Um, this item is also 100% polyester and it feels the same as the other items, the other two jumpsuits. This one is a little bit more see-through, but uh, that's all right. It's a beach cover-up. I can live with that. I wouldn't necessarily wear any of these items in my daily sort of summer life. So yeah, uh, this one, however, was a lot more pricey at um, $26.50. And personally, I do not feel that um, the quality of this product reflects or the price reflects the quality the quality reflects the price anyway what it comes down to is i would not necessarily pay that much money for this um, specific item even though i do like it i just don't think it's worth that much money okay so i paired those with some swimsuits now i'm not going to do a try on for the swimsuits because i don't want to put my naked body on youtube because i'm not all about that life uh, but I will show them to you and talk about them for a bit. Um, I paired the yellow jumpsuit with this striped bathing suit and it is a sort of low cut and open back, open sides. Um, it's not low cut, well it is a little bit low cut, low cut back I mean, and high cut um, legs. This swimsuit is a little bit revealing for me personally, it's not something that I would gravitate towards but that is maybe my own fault and I shouldn't have picked this one. I got it in a size small. It's a mix of Stinton and Spandex. I've never heard of Stinton, I don't know what it is, but the quality of this uh, feels quite good and um, it's quite well stitched. There's nothing really wrong with this bathing suit. It retails for 19 bucks, which um, is alright-ish. I uh, went on some other websites like Target and Forever 21 and I looked at the prices and the materials they use for their bathing suits and they are actually quite uh, priced quite a bit higher and Forever 21 also uses sort of a mix of polyester and spandex which most of these bathing suits are so for the price I think that's pretty good for this bathing suit Okay, next swimsuit I got is a bikini and I paired this with the white romper. I'm not a huge fan of this bikini. I think the fit on this is a little weird and I do not like um, the back of this bikini. It sort of pulls up the top bit and the bottom bit pulls down. Um, I don't know if it's meant to be like that but I just personally don't like the way that that looks. There's nothing wrong with the quality of this material. Again, it's that mix of polyester and um, spandex so that's... I guess standard cheap-ish bathing suit um, material. The only problem or another problem I have with this one is that the fit of the bottoms is really weird. Um, the bit that sort of goes around your waist is a thicker sort of material and it is uh, very tight and the bottom bit is a lot wider so that results in a very weird um, shape for me. My sort of sides bulge out under the waist but so yeah not a fan of this swimsuit and I would pass on this one uh, it retails for $15.60 so that's not a huge amount of money and I got this one in a size medium okay next one is the same as the striped one except it's got a palm leaf print and it's not actually the same at all because this one has uh, booby pads the bikini had that as well um, I, I guess 
in general it's nice to have the booby pads but in this case I feel like and with a lot of their swimsuits the booby pads are quite big in comparison to the swimsuits so that's a bit odd to me. Also the fit of this uh, swimsuit is a lot different to the striped one. It pulls down a lot lower which I do not like because that makes it even more revealing than it already is and the placement of the pad sort of makes it look like I have boobs on my stomach which is not really cool. Anyway, so I would have passed on this one. I did get this in a size medium, so maybe if I would have gotten in a small, it would have fit the same way. I can't um, say because I don't have that, obviously. But yeah, the specific swimsuit in this size, I would pass on. And it retails for 14 bucks, so that is not bad, but yeah, because of the fit, it's a no for me. The next item is one that I quite like. Again, it is this little um, off-shoulder top and the sleeves are actually completely loose from the body but they are attached with uh, stitching over here and it got, has got some cut out detail. I really like the shape and the uh, way this top sort of is. <laughs> the cutouts come out come quite high so I wouldn't necessarily wear this in my daily life. It is really a swimsuit cover up for me. But yeah, this is an item that I quite like and yeah, that's just about all I can say about this item. I'm not sure what the price on this one is but um, it will be linked down below so you can check that out. The next item is another cover-up and I would just wear this on its own but for the purpose of the video I wore it with shorts because I was walking around outside on the street obviously but if I wore it to the beach I would not necessarily wear it with shorts. Um, but this is just a little sort of crochet detail top. I really like the fit and the shape of this. I like that it's got a V shape at the bottom and um, it feels nice-ish. I know all of these materials won't necessarily be the nicest but this one again is a blend of uh, acrylic and polyester I believe and it sells for $24 which I think is actually quite pricey for an item from a shop like Zafu but I do like this item. I paired that with a high-waisted bikini that I got from them and it is this forest green one. It's a one-shouldered bikini with scalloped details and the bottoms look like this. I like this bikini because it's not revealing at all and it is something that I would wear. My only problem with this is that I don't like the way the material feels. It is a mix of polyester and spandex again so it is stretchy and it has got the booby pabs. pabs? <laughs> It's got the booby pads, but yeah, uh, this material feels a bit rough for me and this is not sort of like a typical swimsuit material, um, but I will probably still uh, wear this. I would not necessarily repurchase this or purchase this if I um, had to. I wish they would have made it a different material because I do really like the way it fits. Um, and I love the color of this. It retails for 13 bucks, which is not a lot for a full bikini set, but as I said, I don't really love the material on this, so I don't know that I would necessarily purchase this. I got that in another color as well, in light blue, just because I like the, um, the way the fit of it so much. I didn't obviously know the material would be like this, um, so again, I would not necessarily purchase if I knew that the material felt this way. Next thing is another swimsuit. It is this one. I really liked um, the piping detail on this. You can get this in white piping or in black piping. I like the zip detail in the front. I have to zip it open to put it on. Um, it's got the booby pads again. It retails for $13.50 and it is again a mix of polyester and spandex, so standard swimsuit material and it does feel that way. It's fully lined, which all of the bathing suits are, so that I quite like about them. My only problem with this specific swimsuit is... I don't know if you can see, well obviously you can see, the one strap is way longer than the other one. And I have no idea why they did this. I had the same problem with Ego Official. My one strap was way longer than the other one for a shoe. Um, I think this is a really sort of, um, this is really something that's not done. And it's such an easy, like, I can't imagine that it's difficult to just check that your straps are the same length. So I think that's quite disappointing and that makes 
um, you automatically sort of think that they are not necessarily the most trustworthy online store because um, there are obviously inconsistencies in the quality of the stuff that I was sent. Um, so yeah, that makes me sort of maybe be less inclined to shop there. But otherwise, I really like this swimsuit, so it really is a shame about the strap. Okay, I paired that with just a simple little mesh top that I got from them as well. This is again 100% polyester. It retails for 11 bucks, so that is not expensive at all. Um, it's a silver sort of material with glitters in between. And um, I can't really say much about this except that I quite like this top. The final item of the sort of tops that I have is this little crochet yellow top. You've seen this on my channel before. I've used this in um, a lookbook. It's actually inside out now, which makes it look a little bit scruffy but because of the stitching but this is actually quite a nice top um, nothing wrong with this I quite like it it is a mix of acrylic and polyester and it retails for 15 bucks so not a huge amount I can't really say much else about this top except that I quite like it last thing I got was two more swimsuits and let me first talk about the one that I liked it is this one again that polyester and spandex I really like the shape of this swimsuit it is not revealing at all which I prefer for my swimsuits and this one has the booby pads again and the zip in the front my only thing about this swimsuit is that I would have liked the zip to come up all the way because as you can see it just doesn't come up this little extra bit which you can see on the website I could have known that before I saw it on the website and I still sort of like the shape of it so I did um, order it it is a mix of nylon polyester and spandex and it retails for 20 bucks so yeah this is one of the more expensive swimsuits but I can understand why because it feels a lot uh, the material feels a lot more sturdy and sort of thicker but it's still a really nice sort of swimsuit feeling material okay the last swimsuit I got is one that I would say I hate it is this scalloped um, white swimsuit and it's got a low back um, this swimsuit feels really weird it's like a really rough material I I ordered this actually because I saw another YouTuber talk about it and she talked about how much she loved it so I did get it and I really don't like it it's um, just inferior quality in material 100% polyester it retails for 16 bucks which is not a huge amount of money but still I wouldn't want to spend my money and receive an item and then um, have it be sort of this really rough um, scratchy type of material so I would definitely pass on this swimsuit the last thing I got is this little choker from Zafu and you guys have seen this before and actually asked me about this choker I really like it the quality of it is quite good and it retails for like two or three dollars which is an amazing price so I would definitely um, recommend this choker so that is all the stuff that I got from Zafool. My final sort of roundup review of whether it's buy or buy would be I would definitely buy more swimsuits there. I think I actually am going to order more swimsuits there because I'm going on holiday later in the year and it's going to be summer where I'm going. So yeah, I would go there for swimsuits again. I would steer clear of them for clothing just because a lot of their items are 100% polyester and I... Um, would rather spend a little bit more and go for a higher quality material at one of the fast fashion stores um, sort of where I live and that I know and that I trust so yeah another little thing I would want to mention about Zafool is that they um, sometimes copy stuff from Zara or H&M and then they'll sell it for just under the retail price of um, Zara except it will be 100% polyester. That makes no sense to me. Um, why would you sell an inferior product for a price that is so close to the real product? And again, why would you copy stuff from Zara and uh, places like H&M? Like that's not necessary, just make your own designs. 
Okay, so overall review of Saful, definitely a bye bye for the clothing and um, I would buy swimsuits there. So yeah, I hope this video was helpful for you guys and if it was and if you liked it, I would love it if you liked and commented down below. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you.